Hey guys, this is Paul Potter, the Grand Lake Guy, and in this video today, I'm going to be giving you three crappie fishing secrets that are going to help you catch more fish, and it's coming up right now. So if you're addicted to crappie fishing just like I am, go ahead and slap that subscribe button and like this video by giving me a thumbs up below. So tip number one of today is the depth you are fishing at is more important than the lures you are using. And yes, you heard that correct. It doesn't matter what bait you're using if you're not fishing at the right depth for crappie fishing. This is one of the best kept secrets of fishing guides and professional crappie fishermen. So when it comes to crappie fishing at the right depth, it's very important that you fish right above where the crappie are because crappie have eyes on the top of their head and they, they feed in an upward motion. And that's why you wanna make sure you put that bait right above them. So when you're driving along and you finally find a brush pile that you want to fish, and let's say that that brush pile is at 10 feet, okay, you're going to want to fish at 9 feet because that's where that's going to be the striking zone for crappie. And I have a secret right here, right now, that I'm about to show you that's going to help you put that fishing line down at 9 feet every single time with accuracy. So what I'm going to do is take my bait, I'm going to open the bale up, I'm going to take this bait, I'm going to put it right down by the end of the right down by the end. So now I know this is at six foot right here, okay? I have six foot of line. And what I'm gonna do, because I want it to be at nine feet, I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna pull this out. So now we're talking, that's seven feet, eight feet, nine feet, 10 feet. Okay, now I know that I have 10 foot of line right here and that's how I'm measuring it. And basically I'm using that because this is about one foot. And I went ahead and pulled out 10 feet of line because I always have one foot of line that's, that's outside of the water. So that's gonna allow me to put nine feet of line down there accurately. Now the thing is, most people don't know that this is really important because if you have your bait at 15 feet, and the crappie are at 10 feet, your bait is gonna be lower than the crappie and they're never gonna see it and you're never gonna get a bite. In the same regard, if you have your, your bait at five feet and the crappie are at 10 feet, it's gonna to be too shallow, they're never gonna see it. That's why it's important, we're gonna want this at nine feet. Okay, crappie fishing secret number two, I'm gonna show you how to keep your line at that 10 foot range without having to remeasure every single time. And I guarantee you 90% of the people that fish don't even know about this little trick and it's been right in front of their faces the whole time. Do you see that right there? This is actually for holding your line. That's this guy right here. This little thing that my line is this hooked into, this is gonna hold your line. So now that I've already measured out 10 feet, my line is always gonna stay at 10 feet, even if I reel it in. So once you have measured out your 10 feet or 15 feet, whatever, go ahead and tuck this in there. Okay, secret number three. In a lot of videos I talk about using live bait because live bait is my favorite bait to use. But the problem is that live bait is not always available. And I get asked all the time because I always say that I have some go-to lures that I like to use if live bait isn't available. So if I was about to go fishing right now and I went to Academy or Bass Pro, these are the lures that I would buy. The first lure I'm gonna buy is the Bobby Garland slab slayer black and chartreuse i'm going to use this one every time the second lure that i'm going to buy is a bobby garland baby shad and the color is called monkey milk okay this is a great lure i can catch fish with this lure at almost any lake 
My third lure is also a go-to lure that I love to use, and it's called the Go Go Minnow. And the color that I like to use on it is Old Faithful, and it's just a chartreuse color. And this is a great casting lure that you can cast over a brush pile and retrieve over that brush pile. It's just great. It has a lot of action on the tail. No matter how slow you reel it in, the tail's going to be moving, and it creates a lot of action. And it's just a great lure that you're going to want to use. So that's the three secrets that I have to share for you today. Thanks for watching, and we'll. See you guys this weekend. We're going to be doing some crappie fishing.